So the the other drawback of Solar Design Tool is it does not do uh, shade analysis. The trees are tricky, and not being able to model shade because of trees uh, can land you into problems. So it used to be we would get up on the rooftop with a survey tool, uh, and it would kind of read a chart and let us know, you know when the sun's going to shine and when's it not. You can literally just, just carve out, based on where these shadows are, a percentage of your solar production um, for shade analysis. Now, uh, a detailed shade analysis done in a computer environment would actually be calculating the energy on the solar array at every hour of the day and giving it to you in a very detailed, granular report. Uh, the, the most accurate shade analysis softwares are found to be as accurate as going to site and doing a shade analysis. I actually think they're more accurate because, again, trees grow over time. And so you know, modeling the, the tree growth is better done in a 3D environment than a 2D environment. Um, so Helioscope is a, a software that is kind of the most popular um, solar design software on the market, I'd say. Um, I don't actually know numbers and usages, but that's just the, the feel I get. So, you know, they've been on the market a while. They have good following and they have a very rapid uh, interface. Uh, what's what this is showing is some of the advantage of a 3d shading model this is with the tree there and what's interesting about this image is it shows that the uh you know it didn't really matter if the modules were facing north or facing south you know the panels that were closest to that tree were the ones that were less productive so these southern facing solar panels uh, on this southern facing rooftop produce less energy than these northern facing solar panels because uh, they're shaded by that tree for a substantial portion of the day. And so now we've, we've said, okay, well, you know, if the homeowner uh, must not chop down that tree, uh, maybe we just stick to the sections of the roof that are furthest away from the tree. Uh, in order to get the most amount of production from that rooftop. And so Helioscope is doing, you know, wire sizing and voltage drop calculations. Uh, maybe not to as a, a detailed extent uh, as other software. So they're, they're really trying to stay focused on preliminary design and uh, kind of assuming detailed design will come later. Now what that might mean is you do your shade assessment and helioscope and then once you know your final array layout, then go replicate it quickly in another design software for permitting like Energy Toolbase. One interesting um, tool that Aurora has is uh, taking a stab at making a, a hourly load profile to say, this is how we think the customer uses their electricity without knowing that this is how the customer uses their electricity. And so the, the way you do that is you take your monthly uh, consumption data and then you say, okay, well that has to be consumed by a 24-hour time frame and then they have a survey that says okay what electrical devices are in the home and so they kind of assume that if you use air conditioning it's going to be you know on toward you know increasing as the day gets hot uh, if you have electric heat your winter load uh, may look closer like this um, you know depending on your region your your if you have a swimming pool or not if you have an all-electric home or not uh, these load profiles will jump around. Uh, so they use that for their own economic analysis. And so what we're going to do is look at a couple of these uh, design softwares and, and see kind of how quickly they could be modeled. So why don't we start out with 
Well, we were just talking about Aurora, so why don't we start out with Aurora? And I'm gonna like kind of skip through the video and just kind of tell you what's going on. You know, here they're they're modeling uh, consumption data, um, which is kind of interesting. There's you have the option to input a few different kinds. Uh, the more granular your your data, the better. Um, but now we're in the good stuff. Now here they're having their residential site. And so what's what's nice about Aurora is they already have some uh, templates built in for making the roof drawing process go a little more quickly. And we're just clicking on the edges. And so we can see how it's just been kind of, uh, you know, auto detected. Um, you know, at, at that point, you're kind of basing your model. You know, if you didn't have LIDAR data, you'd be using the street views and aerial views to kind of, you know, wing it and kind of eyeball it. Um, you know, if you've measured the roof slope, well, there we have it with the LIDAR data, you know, you, you now can just grow your model to fit the LIDAR data and it will just match up, you know, nice and perfect. Um, so, you know, they have, they have different shapes of trees, uh, to make your 3d shape a little bit better. And then, um, here they're drawing obstructions. And so now they're doing a, a shade analysis. And so obviously the south side works well and the north side is the, you know, the, the least sunny uh, that I do. But, you know, we can, we can also note just, just how large this area around the, the chimney is. And so we can, we can kind of say, okay, well, you know, is that going to be, you know, if I stay out of this area, maybe I just want, you know, one array surface or you know, knowing that I'm going to have a broken array surface if I go into this larger area. Previous examples, they're selecting their, their module, they're selecting their inverter, and it's doing the string sizing. And, uh, you know, because it is truly building a 3D model, it will be calculating the voltage drop for every single panel on the roof. You know, they, they have a very robust, very strong um, kind of engine. This is an even more difficult, complicated roof. So, um, you know, getting those, those inverted, those folds, uh, you know, seamlessly transitioning from, from one layer to the next. Okay, let's uh, get into the actual model here. So now they're just, they're, they're breaking the roof into sections. You know, they have this smart roof system where you're kind of telling what feature the roof has. And so they have a, a feature for this inverted fold roof style and they apply it to the shape. <laughs> and so assuming you know what you're doing, Now, even a, a very complicated rooftop, even adjusting the image slightly to make sure they're in line. And, um, you know, getting it precisely matched up. And now they're they're building a little awning off the back porch. So they're saying no, it's it's a different shape than our our previous roof. So they've taken out some roof planes and uh, are just playing around with the slope a bit. Yeah, 
you know, and so so now they have a, a very detailed 3D model of the roof. And so from that point within Aurora, you start defining your field arrays, you start putting your your modules together, and they'll have a, a one line diagram. Um, I think what they're showing in this picture is that you know they the they're you know importing this to do uh, roof designs based off construction drawings which is uh, not always quite as easy as it sounds. There can be some guesswork in there. And so Helioscope has um, near maps built into it. You know, and near maps is a... Uh, you know, you just get a better resolution than um, than what you get on Google or Bing. I'll usually go over to Bing and use Bing map, uh, Bing images, uh, which is Microsoft's you know rival to Google. They're a little bit more clear, uh, but you know, Near Maps is pricey, and it has the best images, and uh, some of the the commercial design software integrates near maps into it uh the cheaper design softwares like solar design tool you would have to pay for that near map uh image and so they're defining their array layouts and kind of showing off their fine tuning they're you know showing a, a landscape versus uh you know portrait you know, versus, you know, kind of a staggered approach versus not staggered. You know, staggered, you know, it, it looks pretty good. Although, I, I like the, <laughs> I like my race to be rectangles because solar is rectangular. I don't like asymmetric solar arrays. The rooftops sometimes aren't symmetrical either. And so uh, Helioscope, even though the, the interface as opposed to Aurora, you know, Aurora, you build the 2D model, and then you tweak it a lot in a 3D view. Uh, Helioscope, even though it has LiDAR data, and even though it's building a model, it's kind of more focused on working within this overhead view. Um, and, and, you know, so it, it still has its 3D view or it's 3d model behind that or maybe they'll here they're doing a, a shade analysis and what they're finding out is you know actually you know on the the side near the, the kind of southeast you know doesn't actually get that much sunshine uh, maybe these trees over on the left hand side are kind of less important and they're locating their their inverters and kind of finalizing their their design. And so even though they can be doing very detailed performance estimating and calculating your links of home run conductors and voltage drops of the home run conductors, you know, they're they're kind of stopping before they become full-fledged construction documents uh, which and sometimes that can get a little annoying when you're doing commercial projects and the developer has only done a helioscope design and they just use that to go out to bid. There's a lot of open scope in there that they're not planning around, like the true nuances between, uh, uh, you know, running home run conductors and conduit throughout the array or going into a cable tray. Um, you know, that kind of stuff should be pointed out on a detailed construction document. You're not going to get there with, uh, with Helioscope by itself. You know, what Helioscope is, is much more focused on is, is being a very accurate shade analysis tool, but also one that is, is, more rapid and focused around getting that number um 
Whereas I'd say Aurora is uh, trying to build something that's a little bit more comprehensive, a little bit more expandable, has a little bit more bells and whistles, a little bit more finesse, and that takes a little bit more time too. Uh, and while they might overcome it with uh, features you won't see anywhere else, particularly for 3D modeling difficult residential rooftops, um, you know, Helioscope is is saying, well, you know, our platform is super easy for doing uh, kind of commercial layouts. And so now they're they're doing the the clearances around electrical equipment, you know, six feet off the edges of the roof on a flat roof, four feet around your electrical equipment, and then uh, you know, then there you go back and give the array a little bit of a haircut for modules that you know don't really need to be there to make the install a little bit easier. And so uh, both Aurora and Helioscope generate single line diagrams. And uh, you know, Helioscope and Aurora's single diagram line diagrams are very detailed, uh, but in a sense, they're still kind of basic. They're intended for you to take that and export it into your own gingerbread. And you know, and you know, even though they're they're doing voltage drop calculations. You know, they're not necessarily going to tell you your conductor and conductor fill, you know, be your electrician for shade analysis. And you just want to do.